Hi, my name is Adam, and I'm here with Spotix. Today we're going to show you how easy it is to install a gas fireplace remote control. Here we've got the Skytech 3301P2. Let's take a look at what's inside the box. In the box you will find the instructions, the remote control with the optional wall mounting kit that will perfectly house your remote control on the wall with its batteries, the receiver box with its batteries, the optional wall mounting kit for the receiver box, and the necessary hardware. Taking a closer look at our remote control, you'll notice it has three buttons, mode, down, up, as well as two additional buttons, program and set, underneath the door. To install the batteries, turn your remote over, remove the battery door, and gently install your batteries. And replace the battery door. Turning the remote control back over, you'll notice it now displays the room temperature. Now we can activate the two modes that this remote control operates. By pressing the mode button, you manually turn on your fireplace, indicated by the flame icon here. Hitting the mode button once more turns it into thermal mode, activating your remote control based on the room temperature. Turning it back off, we can now use the programmable feature, open the door, and first hold down program for five seconds. This will allow you to adjust the settings of your fireplace based on a weekday, weekend, night and day schedule. Using the set button, you can set all the desired settings for your fireplace. Once they are set, use the program button just once to activate the mode. Taking a closer look at our battery powered receiver, we'll notice the lead wires that connect to your valve. You'll also notice the slider switch that gives manual control of your fireplace. By sliding it to on, your fireplace will come on, as it will off in the off position. Sliding it to a remote is the desired setting if you wish to use it with your remote control. This receiver box also features the learn button that can be used to sync your remote control and receiver box, and it also features an adjust button that should never be touched as it's set at the factory. Underneath the receiver box, you'll notice the arrow on the battery pack. Slide this outwards, to reveal the batteries and install them here. And then slide it back on top when the batteries are installed. And now we're ready to set up your remote control. The first step is to install the receiver box. With a battery powered receiver, the only thing you need to do is install the lead wires onto the TH and THTP ports. And it's important to note that these lead wires are nonpolar so it doesn't matter which wire goes to which TH port. We recommend moving your receiver box as far from the center as possible so that it doesn't take direct heat. Now that the receiver box is installed, you'll notice that the slider switch on the receiver box is in the remote position. This is the desired setting for your remote control. If you were to slide this to the on position right now, your fireplace would come on like this. Slide it back to the remote position and it will go back off. We are now ready to perform the learn function with your remote control. To begin the learn function, you will need a pencil or something thin enough to poke the learn button inside the receiver box. Once you do, it will make a slight beep, indicating that it's ready to receive the signal from your remote control. After your receiver box has beeped, immediately press the mode button on your remote control and your receiver box will beep again, at which point your fireplace will turn on. And it's that easy. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and found it helpful. If you have any further questions, please visit our website or give us a call. Thanks.